In example 7, we're solving a radical equation containing two radicals. We're going to solve the square root of 2x plus 3 plus the square root of x minus 2 equals 4. As this equation contains two radicals, we isolate one radical, eliminate it, and then isolate the second radical. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the square root of x minus 2 to both sides first. So we're going to get the square root of 2x plus 3 which is equal to 4 minus the square root of x minus 2. So we want to get rid of this radical on the left side. In order to do that, we're going to have to square both sides. So we square this side, square the square root of 2x plus 3. And on this side, we're squaring 4 minus the square root of x minus 2. Now, since we're squaring this side, this is an actual binomial. And with this binomial, what we have to do is we need to use a perfect square formula to expand the right side. Since we have minus, this is the same thing as a minus b squared, which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now if we look at that, we can see that a is going to equal 4, and then b is going to equal the square root of x minus 2. So the value of a is 4, and we're going to square that minus 2 times the value of a, which is 4, times the value of b, which is the square root of x minus 2, plus the value of b, which is the square root of x minus 2, and we're going to square that. So when we square the left side, we get 2x plus 3. Now that remains in step number 4. And so 4 squared is equal to 16, minus 2 times 4, which is 8, times the square root of x minus 2. When we square the square root of x minus 2, what we have left is just x minus 2. And so what we're going to do is, in step number 5, we're just going to rewrite these terms in front of the 16 and combine like terms. Now this is one separate term, and this isn't a like term to any of these terms. So this one's got to remain by itself. So we have 2x plus 3, which is 16 minus 2 plus x minus 8 times the square root of x, x minus 2. So combining like terms in step 6, we still have 2x plus 3, which is equal to 16 minus 2, which is 4 plus x, minus 8 times the square root of x minus 2. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to bring all the constants in the x on the left side to keep the second radical isolated on the right side. So what we're going to do is we subtract 14 from 3 which gives us negative 11 and then we subtract x from 2x which gives us x. So we have x minus 11 which is equal to negative 8 times the square root of x minus 2. And now in part 8 what we have to do to get rid of this radical is to square both sides. And we can square this radical even though it has a number in front of it being multiplied. So x minus 11 squared is a perfect square. So we get x squared minus 22x plus 121. When we square this, negative 8 squared is positive 64. And when you square the square root of x minus 2, you get x minus 2. So we have x squared minus 22x plus 121. And then we're going to distribute the 64 to get 64x minus 128. So now that we have no more radical remaining, we want to be able to then rewrite this as a quadratic equation set equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 64x to both sides. Minus 22 minus 64 gives us minus 86x. And then we're going to add 128 to both sides, which is going to give us 249. So we have x squared minus 86 plus 249 equals 0. And then we're going to factor that. So we have 249 and then we get negative 86. Well, the two numbers that we can multiply to get positive 249 are negative 3 and negative 83. When we add them together, it gives us negative 86. So we have x minus 3 times x minus 83, which is equal to 0. And then using the zero product rule, we have x minus 3 equals 0, which gives us x equals 3, or x minus 83 equals 0, and therefore x is equal to positive 83. 
So now we want to do is we want to, the proposed solutions are 3 and 83. We want to check each solution in the original equation. So when x is equal to 3, we have the square root of 2x plus 3 plus the square root of x minus 2 equals 4. Substitute x to be 3. 2 times 3 plus 3 is 9, so we have the square root of 9. 3 minus 2 gives you 1. So we have the square root of 9 plus 1, which is 3 plus 1, and that does equal 4. So we know that 3 works as a proposed solution. Plugging in 83, we have 2 times 83 plus 3. Well, 2 times 83 plus 3 gives us 169. 83 minus 2 gives us 81. The square root of 80, 169 is 13. The square root of 81 is 9. The 13 plus 9 gives us 22, and that does not equal 4. So the solution is 3, and we can see that 83 is an extraneous solution.